morning. Um, it's uh, cows and calves at foot on um, oats and father beans. Um, as you can just see here already, they do not want to eat the father beans. Um, they eat the oats and they'll eat the father beans when they're really hungry. Um, it's a good experiment. Crop looks awesome, um, considering it had no fertiliser and it was sowing in a drought. It's growing really good in the winter, the oats have carried on growing. Um, but as you can see, the father beans, so the father beans have been good, they're going to put nitrogen in the ground and um, they'll add to the, the biomass and the carbon build up of the soil and nitrogen content, so um, it'll be good. They've got abler baleage on their ring feeder. So, father beans experiment. Would I plant them again? Um, probably just to enhance the crop for a bit of nitrogen because I think that's why the crop's done quite good is that it got um, from the father beans and um, calves down there under the wire. The calves go under the wire and feed. So they do pretty good um, calves. So they do their first winter here. Right over there having a feed on mum. So the cows aren't too hungry when they're stopping to feed their calves when we've just given them a break. Another Charolais calf's having a feed. Um, some, these are heifers, these Herefords. Don't know if she's a Hereford. Bit of short horn in that one, eh? Let's come round here, look down the valley, some sheep at the neighbours. It's baleage lined up for their breaks for the next 20, 30 days. Lovely. Rachel's down there somewhere, and she'll yell at me shortly to do the power. Okay, that's cows on father beans with calves at foot. Have a good one, guys. Ah. Uh, if you've got any comments, comment and tell me what you think of the father beans and whether you grow them or if you've grown them. It'd be quite good to know if someone else is doing it. Thanks. Bye.